<laughs> you look like a Texas Bighorn Rancher guy. Yeah, I need some of those cool horns on the hood. You do. <laughs> Kellogg's Corn Pops drive me a big yellow car. You got big yellow horns. <laughs> Here he goes. Hey, you got no brakes, so. Oh, yeah, he does. We're good, we're good. <laughs> Well, I could. Uh... Are you kidding me? <laughs> I could see it being a cool car. Can you make like a hot rod out of this? Oh no, honey, this is one you'd want to do bone stock with the rally wheels and uh, yeah. Are those those honeycomb spoke thingies, whatever they are? are those true to the car? No, they're not. Oh. Those are U.S. mags. Oh. There's probably a few guys that were wanted to do uh, hot rod, period hot rods that would like to have these. I got a four of them. So this would be on like a Trans Am or something. Come on. Come on. Oh, you want me to help? No, I got it. Well, uh, yeah, anybody would be exhausted. Okay. I don't even know why I'm tired. All I got to do is stand here and hold the camera. Jamie and I have been kind of wore out and taking a break at a close by motel room with a kitchenette. Very nice. But we're back out on the property. And the good news is our entire house, garage, all the trucks, well, except for a few out back, um, and everything from my warehouse is out here. And was that a lot of work, honey? It was, I'm glad we rented this Subaru to bring out here. This isn't a Subaru. <laughs> this is not a Subaru. I don't like, I know this is your car, but I don't like bringing them on this road. Well, you know what? Uh, I don't like the idea of carrying all those tools. I guess I could go get punk and you want throw me to everything stop in the bucket. Mud? Yeah, you can just go around the corner here and stop. Anyway, we got all the all the boys out here, and uh, we've just been kind of taking it easy for a few days because we did work all the way through Christmas, New Year's, the works, and uh, uh, boy, Barnwood, just getting Barnwood out. I worked all night getting him out of the pasture, and I had to pick a night when the ground was frozen, and then uh, I had to chain up Homer and pull that trailer with a cable without it hooked to the truck. There's a bunch of boys right there. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hey, Dad. <laughs> and a couple more <laughs> off around the corner there. I'm going to get just go right there. Parking lot's loaded. we got a lot of work done, and it feels good to have it done, but we are tired. Uh, just out here to get a few of our household belongings out of one of the containers that we need back at the room. Then we're going to go feed our animals back at the old place, and uh, we're just about done. Feels pretty good to be this far along. Also, we're getting two more containers on uh, Monday. Well, probably Tuesday. Uh, Curtis is just around the corner there, a moving van full of all my garage stuff and tools. We still have a lot of work to do, but it's good to be out of the old place. It is. And it's, it is. Uh, you got a lot more crap to get out of that. I still have a bunch of stuff to get out of the barn, but our real landlord, not the guy that was pretending to be our friend, uh, and took over our lease. And, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, where was I? We're tired. Anyway, we're going to get our stuff. Get on out of here. Classic truck rescue. Moving forward. Making progress. Just kind of a kicked back day today. 
see me and I are regrouping after. What? Well, I was going to do a quick video just show everybody everything we got out here. So yeah, we're just kind of kicking back. Glad to have everything move. Got a few things left over there, but they're not really on the house spot. And uh, we got a little time to get the few things that we have left out of there. Uh, Bullfrog. Couldn't have done it without him. Bullfrog made the roads. Him and Pumpkin, the orange. Alice Chalmers tractor. Thank you, Bullfrog, for your service. And Homer. Homer hauled some trucks. Good old boy right there. And I got a, I owe him a dome light because he bumped his head getting in and out of one of the smaller buildings. But uh good truck. Ran real good. When we first started, one of the first things we did was bring old McDonald, Wendell T. GMC, and the old mule out here. Along with my boat that sinks every time I put it in the water. <laughs> yeah. Uh, got a tank for old McDonald so he can be gassing up our equipment out here. That was a truck that was going to be parted out. I bought all the parts, kept them together, runs and drives. My sinking boat, the old mule, Wendell T. GMC, old four cabs over here. Another good old boy, drove over here by himself. That's a 59 Chevy Apache with a 55 Chevy front clip on it. That's old Rusty. 59 GMC. There's Digger back there. He runs and drives. Kermit, a truck we rescued after getting the property. Woody. Old Boomer. That's Old Boomer. That's Woody. Old Yeller back there. 55 GMC. I'll put all the old boys up here by Golden Pond. <laughs> kind of appropriate. Uh, that's Barnwood. And then we've got a 1946 GMC and a 1940s Chevy. Truck that Jamie's in love with. Buddy, 57 Chevy, four wheel drive. And I've got a Napco four-wheel drive, 55 GMC Napco four-wheel drive, sitting behind Old Yeller. Old Yeller hauled all my tires and wheels over here. He started running kind of poorly, and we were just weren't in a position to be tuning up trucks, so I just hauled him over here. That one actually runs and drives. 55 GMC Napco four by four. Hunchback, parked him over there next to Puffin. Oh, while I'm on this subject. Hmm. That's Puffin, Jamie's 53 GMC military rig. Some of oh, my viewers was seeing something about him having an automatic. I don't know where he got that from. So I don't see any indications of an automatic shifter. But anyway, there's the mule as opposed to the old mule. That's a pretty good truck, too. Uh, Curtis, oh, yeah, debt of gratitude, buddy. Still got all my shop equipment in it. We just brought it over here and parked it at 3 o'clock in the morning. And then we drove Farmer John all the way home to St. John's. Demon truck because of its little things right there. It's a 59 Apache. The love boat, fuel tanker truck, Jamie's Tonka truck, nitros back there. Oh, yeah, and the red 58 GMC. One time. 55 GMC Carryall, actually a really rare truck. Hard to find these guys. Not in good shape, but we'll see what we can do with it. That's a 58 Apache. 
55 GMC parts truck was a really nice truck V8 high dramatic and all that but a tree fell on it and uh, it had a bunch of stuff missing on it when I got it there's banana rammer that's a parts truck 57 Chevy flatbed does have the correct GM flatbed on it though don't have a name for that but that's a 1960 GMC uh, that's my project 55 GMC 4x4 with modern running gear uh, got the Wildcat and the Corvette tucked away there's old Wheezy thank you pumpkin Duncan did good. He's got that big tire on the front because I used it to push the Wildcat up in there without damaging the bumper. That little trailer's been real handy. 55 through 9 Chevy and GMC bed trailer. Uh, Tinker. Hauled a bunch of stuff out of my warehouse over here. Drove himself. Good old boy. We'll get you undercover real soon. This is a 36,000 original mile truck. Love that truck. Hate to have him sitting outside, but we'll get him indoors pretty quick here. And then the 38 Chevy, and <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's politically correct. I don't know if it's politically correct, but Jamie named that one Ray Charles. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and so that's what we've got over here. Still got about five trucks left at the old place, but they're not in the area where we were living and everyone can see we're working our butts off so it is what it is pretty much all the way moved though house is empty garage is empty warehouse empty all the trucks gone from out front and uh probably gonna rest for a couple more days next week i'm getting two more 40 foot containers and uh i'm going to Attach one to my fifth wheel overlooking the stream in that area over there and uh, Put a little space between them just like we did with these and, and trust me It won't be the big long drawn-out drama that those 48 footers were these are just 40 foot containers We've got roads in now and uh, if I can get all this big stuff drug back here I can certainly get some containers back here and uh, I'm gonna do something interesting with them Yeah doesn't that look different? Holy cow. How come nobody's chomping at the bit to move in? I don't know. We had to be that up. Anyway, as you can see, for most parts, job done. Job done. We got a few things left out back by one of the barns. But uh, everything out front is cleared out. House is empty. Garage is empty. This warehouse right here is empty. I got a few things left in one of the barns. Well, that's not true. I got a bunch of stuff left in one of the barns, but uh, the meat and potatoes is gone, and about 95% of the work's done, so we're happy. I like seeing that, knowing that I don't have to lay my head in there tonight. Off the stench farm and on the greener back. Yep. Camera just shut off. Low battery. Even the classic truck rescue camera is tired. But anyways, uh, so what we've been doing is bring, uh, loading up out there all day onto whatever we have that's available, bring it out here. And then Farmer John's over at the old place cleaning out the rest of the last barn that we're in out there. And then tomorrow we have to uh, finish up the frames that are outside. Go ahead, honey. No. I'm tired. I'm old and homely and I got bags on my bags and, and you're a good girl and starting uh, this weekend mm -hmm. this weekend you will be on your own property building a cozy little nest for us with me and for your horse and you'll never have to go back to the bad place right. <laughs> yeah. but look at me you're beautiful you have my worked your are... butt off for a month straight I'm old, <laughs> and I need lots of cosmetic procedures. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so we are exhausted. There's, oh, now she's smiling because she saw her, her buddy. That's, That's, yep. That's the best truck on the planet. <laughs>
anyway, uh, it's a mess out here. I mean, it is a mess and because it's a mess in here too. Yeah, it's a mess everywhere. But uh, <laughs> we finally got to where we were looking at how much stuff we had to move, and we said, let's just put it where we can and uh, get it moved. And uh, what? what? It's a rare occasion when the woman's truck is dirtier than the man's rig. Oh, no, you haven't seen Homer lately. No, I'm talking, <laughs> like, drivers. What kind of girl drives around like this? Like, a dude truck. You should have done that at the end of the day when you're all covered with mud and soaking wet. Jamie had a breakdown at the uh, human being. She was getting coffee and she... I'm a you, Cali girl, gosh She darn. pulled up to the window <laughs> crying with her hair all wet and everything and had a meltdown. Yeah, that's good. Uh, <laughs> I am a city girl. I know, honey, but uh, not anymore. You're gone now. Oregonian gone. Um, Look at those birds. But anyway, so it's a, it is a mess out here. And I'm not going to apologize for it because we just had to get everything moved. But I will organize everything and have everything lined up and neat and pretty. Found out we can get three cabs on Jamie's mole trailer. Doesn't it? I gotta unload all those, get those off of there. Got a truck on the back of Homer over there under his sling. Matter of fact, I gotta unload that before we can do anything, but the battery is dead. I gotta unload these cabs. I made a custom little trailer that goes behind my tractor and I slide them off onto it and then I can position them out in the woods instead of stuffing them between trucks. This is just a little ditty about Jamie and Rick. <laughs> Remember how we would pull into the other property and all the guys, the truck, the truck mm -hmm. guys, they'd be like, hey, coming into the property, right? Yeah. We say hi to them all. Yeah. Well, now this is the new updated. Wait, but, okay, we, we missed that, but I don't want to back all the way up to that. But Go ahead. Sometimes you have to in. humor your woman. We're coming into the property. When she's tired and frazzled. Like, oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Look, at, there's Boomer, there's there's and Boomer. there's, I don't remember what his it's name red. is. And then there's these two guys over here. They're like, hey, yeah, we're in our new spots. And then you come over here, and you're like, well, what is that? I don't know. It's a it's mess cool. that I got to clean up. That's well, what like, it everybody's, is. Look, everybody's, look, there's Tinker over there. Hey, Dad. Tinker's been uh, working, too. He's part of the crew out here. Tinker's hauled some loads over here. He's a good boy. He's bright, guys. Yeah. Look at him. He lit up. He shined his lights and winked at me when we were mm -hmm. first met him. I'll cut that in. Hi, guy. Green giant. He's smiling. But anyway, Homer's hiding over on the other side of the bushes. What? Honey? I can't really get in that. Oh, you need to back up because I gotta, I gotta uh, figure out where I'm gonna put that truck. It's over there behind my tow truck, and uh, then I gotta unload those cabs. When we go back to the property, I want to video those three cab heads on the mole and see if anyone else agrees that they look like bulldog silhouettes. Okay. Bulldog. We'll check that out. Anyway, I'm going to work. Jamie's going to work. Today's going to be our last day of moving stuff out of any buildings over at the property. And then tomorrow, we'll pick up the frames, the few frames that I have that aren't rolling and hooked up to stuff. And, uh, Am I going to run over to the mole's paw? Only if you keep going backwards. Is this where you wanted me? Yeah, this will work. Thanks, honey. Getting everything out of the last building today got the warehouse completely empty the garage our house and the barn is just about empty this thing was full let me tell you it had a lot of stuff in it got a few cars left some of the cars got built in here so they're barn finds that are landlocked or whatever but we got to get one of these posts out to get that 67 Cuda out of there. Corvette, there's a Buick parts car back there and a B5 Blue Dart Swinger and a parts dart. Got to get them out. But uh, we're getting ready to load up the last cab. So the deal is we're supposed to be out of this building today. No problem, done deal. And then tomorrow, 
Friday, January 16th. We come out here and get, get the rest of the frames and things like that from the outside. And then, and then Jamie, what do we do this weekend if we get completely off the property tomorrow? What do you mean? What do we do? Saturday, what do we have to absolutely have to do Saturday? Laundry? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Farmer John's been a huge help. Thank you, Farmer John. Yeah. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get her done. Somebody needs to, somebody needs to take this car and build it. Awesome, jacked up in the back, some craters on the rear. That looks so cool. The same blue color. Here. I think that's Landshark Donor Parts. <laughs> that big truck he's building. That is what's left of what it once was. Barracuda. Ooh, Barracuda. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Somehow I'm doing the Barracuda song. Dun 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 dun. And it goes into a western thing. Dun 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 dun. Do 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 do. What's that from? What's that from? Well, today is Friday, and we're still out there putting the last the stuff. There's that dark swimmer, but I think somebody should rescue it. Last day moved out, got all the buildings cleared out, the house, 
the garage, the shop, and the barn. We're just picking up our little old stuff left outside, and, and I, then we're done. Somebody needs to rescue this dart swinger. Yeah. Please. They need to rescue it in the name of Rapunzel. Jane. One thing I have learned about uh, uh, moving all this stuff is that I'm going to pare it down to where I just have uh, trucks and parts for 55 to 59 Chevy and GMCs and stick to what I need for my business. And um, a few vehicles that I've had for a long time like my Corvette and stuff like that. But uh, if anyone wants a dark project, <laughs> it's rough. But it is a—it's kind of a rare option car, although all the options are now gone. But I do have a complete parts car that we showed us pulling out of the barn yesterday, and also my '67 Barracuda might be willing to part with that uh, if somebody really wants one. If someone wants to trade a 1970 Cuda for that, would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. But nobody's going to. Or a '66 yeah. Chevelle. Or yeah, a 67 uh, Chevelle. Dark's kind of lower on the food <laughs> chain than those two cars. But somebody rescued that. But they are kind of cool, and if somebody's interested in one, I'm, I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to kind of pare my stuff down. Not that we're ever going to have to move again, but... Oh, good gosh. Please don't do this again. Never. Never. That means you're stuck with me until eternity. I'm stuck with you anyways. I so love you. Stuff. So you, get kind of wacky. you get kind of wacky, too. We're both whack jobs. <laughs> so this is what's become of the, oh you can't really see remember over there was a bunch of tires over there he had hoods over there was stuff over there was a, a lonely old truck and uh, we came back here and there was Cab City over here's where the where the Corvette was. And over here, this is where my horsey horse, this was his bedroom right here. See, I got all that cleaned out. No more poo poo. No more horse apples. Oh, and then he's got that guy right there. And that's it. Before I forget, I have a viewer named Grumpy always leaves comments on my videos and he leaves good positive encouraging comments but I don't I can't respond to your comments I don't know if it's the device that you're sending your comments from or whatever but grumpy not ignoring you appreciate all of your positive input and encouragement I cannot respond to your comments it, it won't let me anyway we got a big mess out here okay, and we're tired uh, I know it's a mess out here and it looks like I've just built a junkyard, but it's not going to look like this. I like to keep my trucks all lined up and neat and orderly, but we just got to the point where we have to go get stuff and just drop it wherever we can. So that's, what we're doing. that's the cab corral over there. See, we've had a lot of rain now and all the freeze is caught, so our roads started to disintegrate again. Oh, it's horrible. But, uh, and then the dump truck got another flat tire. And uh, we just haven't had time to take him in to get him fixed so I can get him on gravel. We have more underlayment. This is what we're having to deal with. Yesterday, we came out here, it was just the two of us, Rick and I, had some confusion, Farmer John and stuff, and, uh, but we got this guy over here, Corvette, look at it, oh, that's window T, GMC, isn't he sexy, I love that truck, I love it, oh, and that's the mule, no, that's 454. Where's the mule? Oh, the mule's over there. But that's Wendell. Hi, Wendell. Awesome truck. I drove him over here. And we moved these guys back yesterday so we could get some cabs in. And, uh, 
it's really bad back in here. That old um, dart swinger I was talking about yesterday landed way over here. There he's, he's round back. He's round back. Oh my goodness, I almost couldn't get up today. Just body was shutting down. There he is. This is where the bees used to be. And, uh, but Rick and I were saying this has been the hardest thing of our lives. <laughs> it has been hard. I love that man. And we both get frustrated with each other and it's sad because I don't like it when we're not happy, laughy, fun, silly Rick and Jamie. But I came back to the spring, to the stream yesterday and just sat on an old log and prayed and smelled the beautiful pine smells around here. The water was really low. And there are all kinds of little beaches that had formed. And there's some really, really cool old, you can tell it's been in the water for a long time, but um, like fallen trees, logs that are weathered and rounded and starting to petrify. They're so cool looking. Take you back to the stream. It's a little higher though today. Oh my gosh, it's a lot higher. Wow. Holy moly, just so crazy how in a day it changes. Because yesterday I was sitting right over there on that log and that was a beach. This is the stream. <laughs> There's our pasture. Look how green it's getting. I threw down seed not too long ago and it looks like it's just sprouted. the back part of where we have the containers. We have a barracuda, a dart left over there, one truck, some tires, and some rolling frames. And then we're totally and completely out of there. It's just so hard. Things you think you're gonna take a minute or two take hours. And uh, yeah, it does look like a jump pit right now, but neither one of us like that. And like Rick said, after all this stuff is totally out, we have just the rest of our lives to work and play out here. Look at this. Ugh. You sink, I like to sink up to you. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Up to my ankles in mud. There's Tinker. Let's go see, he's pulling what he's done. There's Banana Rammer. There's my Tonka truck. Somebody up there, out there, wants my Tonka truck's hood ornament. That is really cool. Tell you what, whoever it is out there that wants this hood ornament, 
you find me two hood ornament, two Mac Dog hood ornaments because I have a plan for them. I've been looking for them, they're hard to find. I'll trade you two Mac Dog hood ornaments for this guy. There's Homer. There's the mule. That's a good old truck. That was as far <laughs> as old pumpkin could carry him. So that's where it's sitting until Tug gets over here. At least it's not blocking a road. Is that found on Roadside Dead? F-O-R-D? Yep. <laughs> that's all the bits and pieces I cut off of my Boomer project over at Intermountain Innovations before they started doing the fabrication work. I don't want to throw any of it away just yet because I still have to put that truck back together and I want everything to work and there's a lot of little switches and plugs and other things in there that might come in useful. That's a nightmare for every diesel Ford truck owner. Yeah. Catastrophic. Carnage. That is catastrophic <laughs> failure right there. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. <coughs> FX4 off road. <laughs> That's our friend down the road. He's got the this old GMC truck too. His name's Lloyd. Hey Lloyd. option I want to have because it'll save a lot of laundry.
it gets a little soupy in some spots. So that's it, huh? That's it, that's the last hunt. We'll get that pushed up onto the trailer. That's the parts clip for my Wildcat. And then uh, we'll come back and back tug up onto the trailer. And That'll that be it. it. Can you believe it? Over and out. Classic truck rescue piece out of here. Mm -hmm. uh, get a shot of the barn being clean and back where our frames used to be, just so we have a. It's kind of dark in here. Yeah. Nothing left. It's all gone. Just that. That's all gone. Nothing left. Barn is empty. Horse stall is empty. Nothing left. Clean. We left this place clean too. Gross, disgusting bird box that they just brought over and planted right in front of the barn doors one day to make Rick's life miserable. Pasture's empty. should have the privilege of having that. That was a fun night. Classic truck rescue. We're out here at our old property and uh, we've got it down to where I think we got like two more loads to take out of here. So today's going to be our last day of moving out. And I just wanted to take a moment to video what's going on out back here. Uh, a few weeks ago, I videoed that pile. Well, you can't see it, it's on the other side of another pile now. But uh, a few weeks ago, I vid videoed a pile that they had uh, made of eviscerals. We just dumped it on some concrete slab and we had the wettest December on record this year and it sat there all through December. And uh, I also showed you the piles of what basically what they do is they scoop up the poopy shavings and bring them out here and dump them in piles. And there was just a pile way down at that end in the corner and now it's grown they've started a new pile over here and this isn't uh this isn't compost folks this is uh the viscerals being covered by poopy wet shavings and also they're putting it on over the gravel on the road they actually put several inches of it down as they were coming out here to to drive on so the whole property stinks now that's, um, a that's a proper compost pile right there. My landlord, the guy that I lease his prop property from, did that. And, and he did it properly. And he showed me how to do it. But, um, like I said, when I raised concerns about the way things were being done out here, uh, we got the boot. And we got the boot quick and hard, man. They are. Uh, so, this is what they do. They come out, they process, and they come out and they dump all the processing waste on the ground, like that, right there. And then they come out here and they put poopy shavings over the top of it. Oh, 
chickens. Yeah, why are they out here? Anyway, this is the pile that I was concerned about, and I told you uh, several weeks ago that they weren't going to do anything with it, and they're not, and this stuff is just rotted and oozed off of the side there, and here's another pile that they're starting. But you can see there's no composting, there's dead chickens here, the stuff's just running off of the concrete and pooling on the ground, and they're covering the ground with it and driving all over it, and the feed trucks and all the other trucks that come in here are driving through this and then leaving. And trust me, if I could, uh, if I could videotape the smell out here, you would be appalled. Um, but I just wanted to, um, I'm making a video for my neighbors to show them what's going on out here because we didn't get booted for not paying our rent or not paying our bills or not doing what we were supposed to do or for doing anything wrong. All I did, was wanting to make sure that I wasn't left to be the fall guy because that's what this guy's doing that runs this place out here. He puts people in place and calls them farm managers and expects them to take the fall because this will catch up to him sooner or later. And uh, it's going to be the person that's living in the house out front. And that was Jamie and I. And frankly, I'm glad uh, we're not in that position anymore. God's good. He gave us some beautiful property. The first thing we notice when we go over up to our new property is how good it smells. It's just, it's a night and day difference. And this and, is wintertime. In the summertime, yeah. it's just... Yeah, in the summer when this stuff's sweltering out here, it gets even worse. But anyway, I'll be making a little video for my neighbors. And it's... I'll, I'll let them decide if this is okay with them, but we're going to get these last couple of loads out of here and be done with this property. Classic, how do you feel about that, Jamie? Today's our last day coming on this property. Yippee yay yay, yippee yo yo yo. <laughs> be a cowboy. All right, we're getting out of here. Classic Truck Rescue, peace out. cold, wet, muddy, tired, but this is the last load right here. And this old boy Tug, he loaded up everything. He really saved our bacon, huh? Mm -hmm. And my only concern at this point is that Tug's clutch went out, what, like eight months, months ago. ago or a year ago? or He didn't go out, but he, we've been limping him along. And uh, we didn't know we were going to have to move all these trucks and all these parts and and everything. But Tug did it. He hung in there and you got to take your time with him and kind of feather the clutch and everything. But I'm hoping uh, that he'll just back up onto the trailer. Seems to do a little better in reverse. And I do want to thank my viewers that sent me uh, information about where I can get a clutch for Tug. Because we're going to need this when we go to build our new building. And uh, I appreciate that, and I appreciate all my viewer comments and tips. And you know, if you don't see me doing what you suggested that I do, it's just because we have had to move so much stuff, and and we don't show every little breakdown and every little mechanical failure, but we fix it and we deal with it. So <laughs> there's a lot of them. <laughs> and, uh, so you know. Uh, as far as like safety chains on my tow truck or new exhaust and stuff like that yeah i agree with all that stuff and and it's all stuff that needs to be done but we've done what we had to do to get all our stuff moved and it was a lot of stuff but hoping this guy will just fire up and back up on the trailer we'll pull out of here and be done with this place Can you lift the trailer up? 
too steep. He did it. Classic truck rescue. Peace out. Out. He is heavy. Look at the tires went like really. Low. Hey, he's on there. He is. This old boy deserves a new clutch. Can my can go for pull him? Yep. Okay.